I think I'm live. For anybody who pops in, I'll probably put a little comment down here below. I'm trying out a new mic, so if you cannot hear me, let me know. I'm going to put that right now. No. Nobody's here, but just in case you are watching this, my kids are probably going to come in, and my dogs are probably going to bark. I apologize in advance. It's just one of the perks of working at home, I guess. So for today's live, I wanted to unbox the Ardo Calypso to go. Um, we carry the Ardo to go, the Ardo Calypso to go pure, but this is the demo book, um, the demo pump that I have on hand, and so um, I haven't looked at it, and I wanted to unbox it with you guys here. Um, I realized that. Um, this all is happening pretty fast, so before I get into the box, I wanted to give you guys some background information of what's going on. So recently I got um, an opportunity to be a breast pump distribution rep, distributor, a representative for breast pumps, whatever you want to call it. I can get those with TRICARE breast pumps. Now, um, the process is super simple. I can help people here locally, or if you're in an area where there's no reps for our company in your area, I can help you out there too. Just let me know if you have contract here, you want pumps, let me know, I'll hook you up. But uh, quickly, to go over the pumps that we carry, we carry the Amida Finesse, we carry the Lantana Smart Pump, we carry um, the um, Unimom Minuet, we carry the Spectra S1 and S2, and we carry the uh, Medela pump and style, both the backpack and the tote version. And that's in addition to the Calypso. So you got plenty of options. I know that there's other companies that you can go to get pumps online for, um, but some of them are limited in supplies. And the other benefit is that you can work face to face with one rep. That's who you go to for all of your questions, concerns. If you live local to me here in Monterey, we can coordinate, you can get your pump the same day after we go ahead and get your prescription in the order place. Um, because I have um, inventory on hand. So that's some of the benefits to that. Um, another benefit of working with the rep is that we can work with you one-on-one -on -one to make sure that you're getting the right pump for your needs. There's a lot of pumps on the market. There's a lot of good pumps on the market and just finding what pump is going to best fit your pumping needs, your daily life, you know, if you're pumping in the middle of the night and you have, you know, your baby and your partner and you don't, and you need to pump frequently and you don't want to wake them up, then a quiet pump may be more um, what you need than, let's say, um, you know, someone who just pumps at work where they're alone and the noise doesn't matter as much. So, obviously, that's not the only specs that are important, but that is something to consider in addition to how frequently you're going to be pumping um, and things like that. So that's what we cover. We also have a resupply program. You're entitled to 36 months of uh, can you, you're entitled to 36 months of pump parts and supplies. So you know bags and bottles and things like that. So a part of our resupply program, um, once you get your pump through us, you automatically get that. And then if you move or if you have any questions or you need to hold like you know stop a shipment or anything like that, you'd work directly with me and we would get you situated. Ari, do not please. Um, we would get you situated. So it's really personal. It's you and me pretty much getting you set up with any, with all and any of your pumping needs and um, it's free to you and it helps me out because it's what I love doing. So now that I've done that, I don't think I have any other, Ariana, please stop, Ariana. Ariana, I need you to go and not play with that. Please go. Thank you. Um, so now that I got that out of the way, I don't think that there's any more housekeeping uh, in regards to that. I will dig deeper into all of the benefits and the differences and all of the pumps once I get everything together and I get all of the demo pumps on hand and, you know, can kind of, uh, have the time to do that. So, 
I have a feeling that this is going to turn into a crazy mess because of my kid. She is three and a half and she is in the full swing of toddlerhood. And hopefully you guys don't get to experience that. But if you do, please pray for me because that is my normal life. So it's amazing. Now, I wanted to do the unboxing for the Calypso um, because a lot of people are familiar with Amita and Lantanaw and Spectra and Medela. All of those pumps are like super well known. Um, obviously, everybody has their own preference for what they like, but it's not like uh, they don't know the pump that, that we offer. But with the Ardo, it's one that I realize that a lot of people don't know about. And it has some sweet features that I thought you guys might want to know. And we can experience it for the first time together. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Now, I don't have the whole setup to where if you like watching unboxing videos on, hey, Kayla, if you like watching unboxing videos on YouTube where they have like the whole setup, I'm just doing it here on my lap because I don't have the space for it. But in the Calypso here to go, you're going to get everything set up in a nice bag like this. So that is awesome. So it automatically comes with the bag. And let's see if I can do this. My mic's right here. Let me know if I go out. All right. I'm just going to set this on my lap. Let's do it the easy way. All right. So the bag is gray and green. If you're a type of person that cares about that, that's something to do. To. I think it's the the Ardo is the the Ardo color scheme is green, so it makes sense. So it comes with um, two brush shields, a spare part, like probably a different size flange. It comes with a main one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to sort this all out at the same time. I will. And they don't have it packaged in a way that's super intuitive. Here's the actual motor. So it's not very big. If you want a reference, um, here is the Lantana Smart Pump. So it seems that they are a different shape. Um, the Calypso is slightly bigger. Um, and here is the Finesse. And you get, you know, again, different shapes, but... I would say they're comparable in size, just a different um, style, I guess. Oh, put that back there. So here's the motor. It's pretty straightforward. It's like, um, you know, pretty sleek. You just got it's the the display, the LCD display. You've got a few buttons. Nothing. And it begins. Ariana. We're going to probably have a little bit more screaming. I am so sorry. Um, you have a few bu buttons, so we're going to put that aside so that we can figure all of this out. It, oh, it comes with a hand pump adapter so that you can set it up to be a hand pump. So that's exciting. Ariana, Mommy's working right now. I need you to go talk to your daddy then. It also comes with a cooler case. So that's exciting. And I know the Pure to Go, I believe, comes with four bottles, if my memory serves me right. So you would be getting um, the cooler case with four bottles like this. So that's pretty cool. And it comes, you know, the cooler case comes with the cooling device and everything like that. So that is pretty neat. Oh, we got that. You don't even have to worry about... Here's all the handles. You don't even have to worry about, like, um, you know, packing it up to go. You can just grab another bag and everything, all of your um, your cooler, your pump, and your spare parts all fit in this bag. So I think that's really cool for people who need to go to work and don't want to have to um, worry about where they're going to store their bags or bottles. It comes automatically in the carrying case. So that is pretty neat. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And like it's it's pretty much a diaper bag. So there's that. So especially if you are looking to get your pump pre um delivery and you haven't yet got a diaper bag and you're not going to be toting around because I mean I'm telling you, between your motors, that motor just sits 
sticks like snug in the back, you have room to put other things. So they're practically giving you a free diaper bag. That is super awesome. Um, the only thing that I will say is when I showed you the box, it was like the retail box. When you guys order through us, you'll be getting the manufacturer box. So it's not going to look as cute, but you're going to get the same things in there, okay? So that's just important to know. So let's open it up and get to looking at the different parts. Um, I am going to plug it in and everything like that. I'll get to that so we can hear how loud it is or how quiet it is. That is one of the main features. This seems to be one of the quieter pumps on the market. And so I'm really excited to compare it to um, the Lantana Smart Pump, which is quite loud. And the um, Amita Finesse isn't like super loud or anything like that. And I haven't compared them two together, but I was really surprised at how loud the Lantana was. Um, but again, it's been a really long time since I've had the, uh, the pump and cell or anything like that, so maybe my memory's off. Um, but you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out together. So the only thing that I find a little confusing, and maybe this won't happen in your pump, is they just, it's not like everything's together in one bag. That is kind of annoying because they really could have kept the um, cleaning kit separate. Like, they could have really put all the, the, the flanges and the uh, breast shields in one bag and then, like, let's say the spare parts in another in the cleaning kit. But it comes with a little brush, so I think that's cool. The Lantana and the Amida did not. Um, and then a little, like, uh, bottle stand. So you can set that right there and not have to worry about them falling apart. So that's cool. And all of the, all of the bottles comes with the cap that would just screw off, obviously. You would put your own nipples on here, I believe. But let me make sure that I'm not steering you guys in, whoops, steering you guys in the wrong direction on that. All right. So um, the they come with 28 and I'm confused. Okay, I know that they come with some inserts, so let's let's go back. Let's make sure I have everything what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so and maybe I'll have to look at the um the manufacturer thing too. So I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys all the information, but we are learning this together because I've never had my hands on this pump, and that's why I wanted to do it together. So one thing I think is really cool is that um, they come with a 26 uh, millimeter, is this a reduction? This might be a reducer, right? Or it could be the membrane for a flexi uh, pump so that instead of having that like whoop, beep, whoop, beep, suction, it provides a little bit more flex and comfort. But let me double check on that. But the one thing that I'm confused about is it looks like, for example, this flange, if you see, looks like it doesn't actually detach. So before, and if it doesn't detach, then I'm curious because it looks like none of these detach, but that's not possible, so hold on. Let me look at the manufacturer paperwork first. I don't want to tell you wrong information. I am sorry. If you guys have any questions so far, let me know. If you guys want me to talk about anything while I search for these information, let me know. I don't want you to be bored. That is the most important thing is that you're not bored. So you get the pump set. Okay, you're telling me about that. That's awesome. I want to know what to expect for how to assemble. Wow, it does look, okay, so that's interesting. So usually when you have, um, okay, so what you're going to get is you're going to get a 36 and a 31 breast shield, right? And the breast shields are connected, so they're not going to um, come off like how other pumps are going to. And then you have a 26 millimeter um, breast shield insert 
and a 28 uh, millimeter breast shield and a 22 milliliter millimeter breast shield. That's probably this one. Okay, let me make sure I have them all in order, right? So here's a 26. So we got a 26. What? Okay, this is a 26 millimeter breast shield. Check. We got a 31 millimeter breast shield. That's this one plus the 26 millimeter, the 28. So we have a 28 jelly like soft one that goes into the 31. You have a 26 millimeter insert. And then you have a 28 hard insert. Or is that a 26 millimeter? I am so confused. Okay. Backing up, you have a 26 millimeter hard flange. You have a 31 millimeter hard flange. You have a 26 millimeter soft jelly one, right? So these ones are going to be the same size. These two are going to be the same. Well, these two are going to be the same size. This one's a 31. Then you have the option of a 28 insert as well. The 31 are not coming off. You cannot remove them. So if you need to size down from a 31, for example, to a 28, you would do the insert like that, and you would just clean all of these parts. Okay, so I'm glad we sorted that out. So we should also have a... Oh, this is just the other 26. Okay, so that's why it was confusing, because... I was like, why is there so many pieces in here? All right. In addition to all of those flanges, I gotta make sure I keep that and work all those details. You get a little cleaning brush, you get your tubing, and you get your manual pump part. So let's figure out how all of this stuff comes together. All right. So in theory, this should just screw onto one of these. Let's just use this 31 that has the 28. Do we screw it? Or do we pop it down? Assembling pump set. Also, before you use it, make sure you're washing your pump parts. I know I did not. I know I did not, but you're supposed to. But we are not using it. It's just a demonstration pump. Oh, that's good. So I'm taking the bottle. I have the hand. Oh, we do need a duct bill. Don't forget these. These are the parts that help with the suction and everything. So you do need a membrane. And if you are noticing that your um, pump output is not where it used to be or you're not getting good pump output, uh, double check your membrane. These are duct bill membranes. That seems to be what's coming with the Ardo Calypso Pure to go and or to go pure. And then I think all of these other ones that I was given for the demo pumps are duct bills as well. Um, the only ones that I think that may be coming with uh, membranes, and I'll double check, like traditional membranes, it might be the Medela, the Medela uh, pump and style. So here we have the thing. I don't actually know if it's suctioning. It's hard to tell because I'm not using it on myself. Let me see. Oh, yep, it's suctioning. I'm using it on my belly. <laughs> I guess that's one of the perks of just having a little... I guess it's one of the books of having a little extra after Ari was born. Okay, so so that's how you go to get a hand pump. And that's really convenient, too, if you just... The fact that it all comes in one. I know the um, other brands that I had gotten that I went through so far don't have that option included in the pump part. So that's really exciting. Okay, so now that we got that all situated, let's go ahead and set up the pump so we can figure out how it works and how to make it work. So I'm just going to just screw in what I already had set up, which I believe are the 26s. Now, I want to say the lowest that they go is 26s. I'll need to double check to make sure that pumping pals, for example, fits with these flanges because a lot of people are going to need lower than a 26. 
I myself probably would view the 20, 19 to 21 at most. 24 is a way too big for me. Um, so 26 would definitely be big as well. So I'll need to double check for those who already know that you're going to need smaller than a 26 millimeter flange. Now, if you are if you are one of those parents that have really large nipples and you always have a problem finding um, a pump that comes with 28s or 31s, this is a really good pump for that because it it comes like I said automatically with it. So we've got we just screw those in and make sure that the the um I'm backwards. Make sure that the duct bills are in there. We have the tubing. This looks like it um will connect to a connector hose, but let me double check because it appears that there is only one spot. So it it's going to have a T connector, I think. Because it is a double pump, right? That is the question. This should be a double pump. Okay, sorry, I know, I apologize. Where is the T connector for that? A, B, F. Tube. G is a tube connector. Okay, so it's a little, it's oh, okay, I see. So instead of having like a T where, let me show you if I can. I don't have it out. A lot of pumps, what they'll have is like a Y shaped tube where it plugs into the tubing. Um, there's like a portion that's long of one tube and then it splits out into two. This one is more like the Medela style tubing where you plug in the connector. And both of these tubes will, um, oh, they come with two connectors, so you have a replacement. That is good to know, too. Is that? Let me make sure I'm not giving you false information. Yep. Okay, so when you come, you will have an extra rep, um, connector. So don't lose that. Because what we are going to do is we're going to connect these two together. And so each of these will... Um, be able to go in opposite directions for the full length of the tube. Some people like the Y shape, other people don't mind the traditional like two uh... so I was looking at the um, Amita Finesse tubing to see what they had. Um, some people like the you know traditional two where you can have them all separate out different ways. So this part goes into the front part of the motor. If you were single pumping, you would just put this little tab into one of the um, holes. So you would use this one primarily and this one would be the one that you close if you were single pumping. And then the power adapter fits right here on the back. So let's go ahead and get that out. Where did I put that? Uh, my loud daughter is coming back down, so... Sorry. Where is the power cord? Where did I put it? Oh, the joys of being live. Did anybody see where I put that at? Mommy, go away, please. Right, let's make sure I didn't just leave it in there. Is it in the bag? Yes, I left it. I didn't even pull it out. All right. So now we have the power adapter. Now, I also, I re did record the sounds of the uh, finesse and the um, smart, the Lantinol smart pump. I actually have the Lantinol smart pump and the regular Lantinol. Um, the Lantino Smart Pump is the only one that we're carrying and distributing now, but I have the demo for that. Um, the difference between the Lantino, Lantino Smart Pump and the Lantino Regular Pump is that the Smart Pump uh, connects to the app via Bluetooth um, or Wi-Fi or whatever it connects to. I think it's like a combination. It's just they connect to an app, and so you don't have to worry about inserting like the time you pumped if you like to track that stuff. Um, manually, it does that automatically. 
Now, another thing to note, your Lanzanol Smart Pump, your Amita Finesse, your S1, the pink, the two, the pink one, the pink spectrum, all have batteries and so a battery options and it would appear that so does this. So you have the option of having it plugged in like I'm about to do or it takes one, two, three, it looks like it takes six double A batteries. Sorry, I lost the back. Ugh. Here it is. Um, right under my dog's leg. So it takes six double A batteries, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Um, so that's good to know too. I know that um, each pump has their own longevity for how long like batteries are going to last them and whatnot. Um, I don't have that number for this pump off the top of my head, but I will be sure to uh, post that, especially if anybody has any questions regarding that. So uh, let's plug this in really quickly. This goes right there in the back. I have my power source right here. That should work. And the only last thing that we need to do is hook up the tubing to the back of this pump. So, let's do that. All right, one down. Now, the one thing I will say about the, um, we'll have to see is because the um, Amita Finesse, the one thing that I don't like about that, um, besides it not having an LCD uh, uh, face where you can see like how long you pump and what setting and whatnot, um, is that the bottles are really tippy with the, how long the necks are. So if you see this, this isn't really like, it's kind of compact. Um, the center of gravity is different on this pump. Um, even on the uh, the Lanthanol, you see they're really short and stout, so you don't have like a lot of tipping area. Um, and the way that it's tilted, the the tubes don't pull a lot on it. But the Amita um, is really, and this is kind of annoying too because I haven't been able to pull the I haven't been able to pull the thing up. The Amita are really tall. And if you are not careful, if this, like, for example, is rotated towards the front of your um, flanges like this, which they shouldn't be, but you may be tired, they are going to fall over. So if you are having a tipping problem with your Amita pump, make sure that you have the tubing facing the back. It helps a little bit, but yeah, these are really tippy just the way that how tall they are. So that's really annoying. Hold well, this. Full disclosure, though, I did use the Amita Hospital Pump when I was, um, like, the very, actually, for the most of the time that I was pumping while we were in the NICU, and I did like it. So, Amita, uh, I don't have a problem with that style of, like, membrane or diaphragm or anything like that, but with just how tall the bottles are, they really are prone to tipping. These ones don't seem to be having that problem. They're wider on the base, and they seem to have a... Um, a pretty even distribution of uh, weight. But like I said, if you already know you run small, then you're already going to have an additional investment buying the insert if they fit for this brand of pump. Something to know about. So I have it plugged in, so let's hear it together. We can't even hear it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to turn it all the way up with the vacuum all the way up and the cycles all the way up. Oh, I mean, you can hear if you're turning the vacuum. It's not loud at all. Let's see if it's suctioning. Hold on. i got to use my belly test because I don't have a demo boob right now. So let's see. Okay, there seems to be no suction coming through here, and that might be because the um, this may not be secured all the way. And let me see if th this is on the right way. So also another thing besides the membrane, you have a diaphragm that is underneath here, right? Um, here's the diaphragm. 
So you're going to need to make sure that that is securely put in the place. And remember how floppy it is. That might be easier said than done. But also, mind you, I haven't had a chance to play with this very well. So it could be user error on my end. So we're going to just retry this, make sure that we have everything on secure. And maybe it was suctioning and it just didn't feel like it to me. Um, so one thing to know when you turn off whatever cycle, like whatever settings you had while it was on, it goes back to normal. Okay, I hear the diaphragm. I can see the diaphragm moving now. I, you can see that up here. That was not happening before. And it's happening to both. So I'm almost certain that there's a... But this one's not moving freely. All right. We will sort it out. This is all my error because this is my first time playing with this. And I just want to make sure. I mean, I think it doesn't matter um, how much it moves. The fact that it was moving is good. I just want to make sure that I am giving you guys the most accurate information. All right. We're almost done. I'm sorry. So like I said, it goes all the way back to zero. So let's say you pause. I know some people really like the fact that some pumps remember where you're at and other people don't like that because if they forget to turn it down, then, you know, their nipples are practically getting like completely sucked off, especially if they were like in the height of their uh, pumping session. But um, you don't have that problem with this pump. But in order, I'm just going to make it as suctiony and as cycly as possible so that we can hear how loud it is. Now, I don't know if that flopping noise is normal or if that's just how my, um, because we're not having any thing in it. Um, I'm not sure. I think once I have my demo pump. Oh, yeah, it, the section is working now, though. So, yes, yeah, so it, it does your typical pump in and pump out suction feel. Um, here's the sound of the motor. So this is all the way up, okay? If you look, that is all the way up with the suction and all the way up with the cycles. You're probably not going to use it like that. Now, the other thing that I will mention, hold on, let me make sure somebody messaged me. I want to make sure that I haven't been talking this whole time. And who messaged me? Um, let me double check. Sorry, I just see a message and I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Okay, so apparently, that I don't know. I don't know what that was. Okay, so um, the motor is l like not loud. It's not like the loudest motor I've ever heard, but you're probably not going to be using it all the way up and all the way down. Now, the one thing that other people like is there seems to, on other pumps, is that there's a let down button which toggles between the um, expression mode and like the let down mode. Um, this doesn't have that, so you have full control from the time that you turn it on to the time that you stop with the suction and the, the, the vacuum. So let's go relatively high cycle, low vacuum, right? That's pretty quiet. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty darn quiet. I wonder if I can get another one plugged in so that we can hear it. All right, let me plug in the uh, smart pump so we can get a reference for that. Barking again. Okay, so this has been going the whole time. I don't know if you could hear it. Okay, it's going. Here is what I'm gonna turn it off. So it's not going anymore. Not that it was probably super distracting, but now I got the Lansinoff um, smart pump. 
Now, if noise, like I said, if noise is not an issue for you, then this feature may not be a, a consideration at all. It may not be a factor what you look at. But just to highlight how quiet this is, um, let's turn on the that. Oh. Okay, this is how it sounds when you first turn it on. Okay, so it is considerably louder. That's how it sounds when it first turn it on. Now, it's just, maybe the tubing is going to be a factor. So let me. See if the tubing is going to matter. Let's turn it off real quick. So that was straight, literally turned it on. That's the first sound that you hear. So let me get this. This is a T kind of tubing that I was talking about, how some people like that and some people don't, where the majority of the tubing is going to be this length, and then you have like earbuds. Some people like it, some people don't. But let's see how it sounds maybe with the tubing in and hooked up to the bottles, right? So we're having a fair comparison so you guys can really see how quiet the Ardo is. Let's see. Okay, wrong bottle here. See, and now they're tipping all over the place, like I said, because they're annoying. All right, so I will say the Lansinol's pretty easy. And when you said the Lansinol motor is smaller, considerably smaller than the Ardo. Now, again, if, if that's not a factor to you, then it really doesn't matter, but, okay, so now I have the tubing in just to make sure that when we first turn it on, the sound that I was hearing and we're showing you guys is accurate for how it's going to sound. It shouldn't be any different, but I do know that the suction, the vacuum comes actually out of this part, so I wanted to give it a fair chance for a comparison. So see that clicking noise is kind of gone because it's spreading to the tube because the diaphragms are moving. But that's when you first turn it on. I haven't done anything. So let's play around so you can hear the difference. So that with the um, expression mode. Now if we turn it up. I think you, I don't know. Let me know if you can hear. If you haven't heard the uh, Ardo because you just turned in, I'm going to have that play back. But can you hear how like, it's like, Mm -hmm. It's pretty it's pretty loud and you hear it in the, the um bottles as well. So it's the motor and the bottle. Um let's compare that back to the Ardo. And this was turned up this was turned up the full amount for the um second stage expression with the uh, Vacuum turned all the way up. I think that's what that is, is the vacuum. Okay, so let's pause this real quick. Put this back over here. We're almost done. I just wanted to show you guys everything so that you guys can know what to expect. Going back to the Calypso, this is when you first turn it on. It's on right now. You can hear it. I guess I was expecting it to like not be audible, but that's not that's not realistic. Okay, and then this is it turned all the way on. Up. That clicking is the diaphragm. See, and now if Amita had just, they may have sent, I, I don't want to talk crap, maybe they did send a base like this, but it's really helping out right here. So that's that. Let's go back to the smart pump so that you guys can see side by side. Let's see who, this is the Calypso all the way up. Let's see which one's louder. Oh yeah, this when it, well, see it also didn't, it remembered where I was at. So let's go just. This is the lowest setting.
and this is turned all the way up. <laughs> Lowest setting, all the way up. It's quite different. So let's turn, let's have them both be fair, our lowest setting for each of them. Absolutely, by far, the Ardo is so much more quieter. All the way down in expression mode, or in, uh, in let down mode. Let's double check to make sure it's in let down mode. Yep, all the way down in let down mode. So this is the lowest setting you could possibly have. That's how loud it is. This doesn't have a letdown mode or anything like that. It's just lowest vacuum and lowest cycles. You can probably not even hear it. You're probably still hearing the smart pump, so let me turn it off. Can you hear that? It is so quiet. All right, I think you get the idea. So that is one of the biggest selling points. Now, um, like I said, I'm going to make a different video talking about all the specs, but I just wanted to show you guys like the unboxing, what was in it, um, I knew that the how quiet it is was going to be a major selling point for some people, and so I wanted to show that. If you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, let me know. If you want to um, kind of go over what pump might be good for you and might be best for you, uh, let me know. We can schedule something. I have no problem going over it. We could do it via video. We could do it over the phone. However you want to do it. If you're local to me, let's meet up. However you want to do it, let's get together and get you situated with the pump that's going to work best for you. If you already have an idea, let's say you know you want to do the Spectre, you know you want to do the Modelo, or I've won you over with the Ardo, right, which is a really good pump, right? So we are dealing with really good pumps here. Um, and you're ready to order, then let's do it. All I'm going to need from you is a prescription from your doctor. If you have not yet got your prescription, and you need a form, let me know. I'll email that to you. Just take it to your next appointment or whenever you can get in. Have them fill it out and then scan it back to me, email it to me, and I will go ahead and check your eligibility. That should come back pretty soon. Like literally, if it's like during a business day, normal business hours, um, it should come back within minutes. If you know we're talking at eight o'clock at night, then you probably won't get word till the next day. But either way, it's a pretty quick process. Once we have your eligibility checked out and your um, prescription, then we will, you'll have your pump within five to seven business days, usually. So that is the good news. It's a pretty quick process. Usually it's fighting with the doctors about like, yo, I need my prescription. Oh, okay, you know, that whole process. On our end, it's pretty simple, super simple. So yeah, if you need a prescription form, let me know. I um, you could either message me on this account, um, on my business account, in the messages and send me your email and I will send you that form via um, the pump email because I can't send PDF over the Facebook. So let's get that started. And as always, I know this is about the pump distribution, but as always, if you're having any breastfeeding issues, pain, you just need a pumping consult because you want to produce more or figure out why you might not be producing more. You want to have one-on-one -on -one flange sizing, figure out what pump might be best for you outside of like you already have a pump and you're having breastfeeding problems and you may need to make some adjustments. Let me know and we will get you situated with that. Um, my individual consultations, uh, my online consultations are listed. My in-person consultations are listed but i wanted to mention the online because i know a lot of you guys are still out of my location because i've moved around a lot that's me leaving you guys and i'm sorry but i have kept up with obviously the online virtual consults and i just wanted you guys to know that and at 3 p.m our time pacific standard time 5 p.m central standard time i think that is i might be running over i didn't have any group consultations I will repost the information, but Thursdays and Fridays are my group consultations. I have yet to have anybody sign up. I know that, you know, that's just part of the process of like trying to get more um, awareness to my business and the services I offer. So I'm going to do a little plug right now for that. If you need group comps, if you need help with basic pumping questions or basic breastfeeding questions, and you don't have access to a local lactation professional, but you don't want to necessarily have a one-on-one -on -one consult, maybe cost is prohibitive, maybe you just don't need, you know, 
uh, an hour, hour and a half of individualized care, you just want to hop on board and get feedback about what other people's going on, maybe you want to learn an experience, either way, a group consultation is going to be an option for you guys. So every Thursday and Friday, I have a pumping consult and breastfeeding group consult, respectively. Signing up is super easy to do. All of this information you can find on my website, matoslactation.com. If you haven't been sharing it already, you need to. But if you've stuck around this long, there's one last thing that I want to tell you guys, and I'm so excited. So now that I've got my business plug, back to the breast pump rentals, I am running a giveaway. So you already get a pump, whatever you choose, free through TRICARE insurance, and you get your supplies for 36 months or until your child turns three, whatever comes first. That comes automatically. You don't need to do anything other than that. But you have a lot of options. I'm trying to get out there and get, you know, my name out there. So as a way to kind of benefit anybody who is going to be going through us to get breast pumps, I am doing a $15 gift card for any, for my first 25 customers and for the first 25 referrals that result in a breast pump uh, order. So what that means is if you need a breast pump and you have options and you already know me and you think I'm great and you like what we have on stock, another incentive for you to order through me, if just liking me is not enough, is you get a $15 gift card. That's the first 25 people who order from me and the first 25 referrals that turn into breast pump orders, right? Gotcha. The other benefit to that is the first 50 people, their names are going to be entered into a secret giveaway. I have not decided on the contents of the giveaway, but to celebrate my 50th order, that is how I'm celebrating. Once we have hit 50 breast pump orders, so not for supplies, but 50 pump orders, then um, the giveaway will stop. I'm not benefit, like I'm not going to be giving out any more money, but it's a great opportunity to just go out there and promote and just find people. But if, you're, if you have a friend that you love, then like, and they need a breast pump, let them know because don't you want them to have $15 and be entered into a giveaway? Yeah, because we're friendly and we support other people and we like to boost other people's odds of winning stuff, right? So I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm really excited about that. It's money out of my own pocket and it's one way that I really want to uh, reward and like celebrate the launch of this part of my journey to supporting people. So I hope that you found this helpful. Like I said, questions, concerns, anything, leave them in the comments section, send me a message, shoot me an email, find me on my personal Facebook page, however you need to reach out to me, please do so. I would love to help and I will see you guys in the next live video on Facebook. Bye.